What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week, you don't wanna miss them. Today I have a very special guest. She's gonna tell us all about the field of vascular interventional radiology, um, why she went into it, and also some tips for everyone else out there that may be interested in the field. Dr. UK, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for having me, Dr. Webb. Absolutely. Uh, for the people out there that are watching, can you tell us what you, what you do and, um, and who you are? So I'm Ifeshi Uke, and I'm a vascular interventional radiologist in Maryland. So interventional radiology. So it's essentially what it is, is uh, cutting edge, minimally invasive medicine where IR doctors use state-of-the-art imaging to diagnose conditions anywhere in the body and then perform procedures in tiny incisions, small holes on the order of two millimeters using catheters and wires to treat that condition. Hmm. And th thinking back to med school, for the people who don't know, we went to med school together at Georgetown. Did you always know that you wanted to be an interventional radiologist or something that kind of stumbled upon during your training? Yeah, so I didn't always know. In medical school, I was one of those students who kind of liked everything, mm -hmm. but I tended to gravitate towards more procedural fields. And I had radiology on the radar because I did rotation in it and I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. On my surgical subspecialty rotation, I got to experience just a little bit of minimally invasive surgery as a gen surge subspecialty. And I was, I, I happened to meet an interventional radiologist on that rotation. He convinced me to schedule an elective in it. At my med school at the time, there were no dedicated electives to it. So if you didn't mm -hmm. happen to find it, you wouldn't know anything about it. Wow. I did my rotation and I'm so glad I did because it was a perfect fit. IR doctors kind of work in every field of medicine, um, every organ system, they do procedures all, all, all over the body, a wide variety of procedures or diverse range of patients. So the field just happened to include a lot of the things in other areas that I was already interested in. And it was, it was a no brainer after that. So that's why I went into it. Got you. Um, so the education that's kind of required for it, I know four years of med school, you have to do a intern year and then three years of radiology. So, yeah, it's actually for the better IR has changed as a subspecialty now as of a year or two years ago, IR has become its own subspecialty right out of medical school. So now students wow. are, who are interested can apply right out of medical school. For mm -hmm. me, it was, you know, four years of med school, one internship year then four years of radiology and, and then one year fellowship in IR, so six total years after med school. Mm -hmm. Now, at, right out of medical school, you can apply to IR instead of applying to diagnostic radiology. Mm -hmm. It's still a six-year program after med school, but you get to do two years of dedicated IR time in residency, There's and there's no traditional IR fellowship anymore, so you can't apply for an IR fellowship. Mm -hmm. um, however, if you go into diagnostic radiology and decide as a resident, I kind of like IR, didn't know as a medical student, there are still avenues where students can apply to uh, IR. It just might be an additional year. Instead of six years, it might be seven years. Okay. And is it more competitive to go the direct IR path? Or is there, are they so, both competitive? Yeah. So it is more competitive now. So when I was applying, you apply to diagnostic radiology. So you're in a pool of diagnostic residents. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, you apply for IR fellowship, which might not be as competitive because a lot of people who go into diagnostic radiology don't want to do IR. They want to do something mm -hmm. more diagnostic. So now that it's become its own specialty right out of medical school and because it's new, so it's kind of hot right now to do IR, there's a lot of interest. So for a lot of spots in the country, there are a lot more applicants. So. Um. I know for the last cycle, IR was either one or two in competitiveness um, hmm. to get into. So it's pretty competitive right now. Yeah. So what do you have to suggest for those students out there that want to go into IR, either direct or going do the diagnostic first? What should they be doing? 
So I think if you're interested in interventional radiology, it's definitely good to submerge yourself in that field, get to know some of the residents or attendants that do IR mm -hmm. and to let them know your interest. And once you kind of build those connections, you can um, do, re do research in the subject, um, really show your interest, and that way you'll have a good mentor who can guide you through the process. Um, and in addition, for any, any specialty you're interested in, just working hard, being dedicated, doing the research, mm -hmm. um, and that's a good way to start. And then specifically for IR, there is the Society of Interventional Radiology, which is actually a big part of IR. And then I'd say all IRs essentially, for the most part, are a part of it. And mm -hmm. on the website, if you join, there are a lot of resources for medical students and undergraduate students to get involved in a mentor mentee program on there as well that are specifically for students residents and fellows so it's a good place to start to submerge yourself and to show your commitment and i know when i was interviewing some of the attendants who i interviewed with would specifically ask and look at my resume to see if i was involved in a part of the society of interventional hmm. radiology to show your show your interest um, i remember being at a panel with a, a lot of IR attendants and program directors sitting mm -hmm. on the panel and it was, the audience was full of students. And one of the questions was asked how to be competitive. And one of the attendants actually said, if I have a student who applies for IR, but is not a part of that society, I don't look at the application. Wow, so it's, it's, it's really important to be a part of that society. Yeah, I think, I mean, that's a drastic example, but I think that that society does have a lot of great resources to point you in the right direction. Okay. And then once you get into your fellowship, you said it was two years long? The fellowship is one year. One year so it's, it's five years, including internship of diagnostics and okay. then one year IR fellowship. Um, so total six years, but now it's still a total of six years, but two of those years are dedicated IR and IR like rotation. So you now with the new setup you do um, more IR which is great. Okay so most of your time in that fellowship year is doing procedures are you seeing patients in clinic also? Exactly so um, in training I was afforded that opportunity to go to clinic at least one day a week and mm -hmm. in practice um, most IR doctors do have a formal clinic. Oh sweet. And what type of procedures are you doing um, in terms of the vascular as well as interventional component? So like I was saying, IR doctors, we really do perform procedures all over the body mm -hmm. um, from not only diagnostic procedures, so biopsies and mm -hmm. angiography, but uh, we treat cancer um, in many places in the body. We treat uh, bleeds like gastrointestinal bleeds hemoptysis, uh, varicel bleeds with tips procedures. We treat compression fractures, peripheral artery disease. Mm. Um, we really do a lot of work in the liver, the biliary system, the urinary system. Um, a lot of women's imaging, so treating fibroids, adenomyosis, pelvic congestion syndrome, um, mm. men's health with to treating benign prostate hyperplasia, hematuria. So honestly, like, IR doctors really do get to perform, perform procedures all over the body. I'd say all organ systems um, we get to touch and uh, that's what's really unique about IR. So if there's mm -hmm. anybody who's undecided or may think they're interested in multiple things, check out IR because we really do um, get to kind of play around in all the organ systems. Yeah, and like you said, if you know your school doesn't have a formal IR rotation, you have to seek that out on your own. Otherwise, you wouldn't know too much about it. So. Um, exactly. Some and, students um, have to do away rotations and even mm -hmm. set them up for themselves. If their hospital doesn't offer it, they either find the IR department there or go to a hospital nearby or do an away rotation. Okay. And you just recently completed fellowship. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. What is a typical day for you now as a staff interventional radiologist? So a typical day now post training is much different. Mm -hmm. I'd say um, a day is going to change, just depends on the type of practice you're in, outpatient, inpatient, uh, private practice. For me, an academic center 
Uh, the day typically starts with rounding with the medical students, the residents and the fellows. And then after that, much of the day is spent evaluating patients and then doing procedures. Um, I'd say uh, a, day, a day can typically start anywhere between 7 and 8.30 and end anywhere between 4.30 and 6, depending on the type of practice you're in. Mm -hmm. I'd say my day starts at 7.15 and, and done anywhere between 4.30 and 5.30. Um, and that's when you're not on call. Mm -hmm. When you're on call, the day can typically go longer because you're doing the add-on cases and uh, doing any emergencies that might happen at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And then when you do home call, you take home call. So you go home for the day. And if you're on call, you can get called back in to help with any emergencies. After you complete all of your training, you you know, your residency, your fellowship, and then your, your staff, I know it varies by location and practice type. How much can a interventional radiologist make? I'd say, depending on practice type, an interventional radiologist who's working full time can make anywhere from 325 up to anywhere from seven to nine hundred thousand dollars just depends on the practice on practice type if mm -hmm. you're grinding down in private practice versus working in an academic center it can drastically change okay uh for the students out there that are interested in either medicine radiology or interventional radiology what, what type of advice would you have for them so if you're interested in medicine i would say or medicine and interventional radiology kind of go the same it's it's all about your work ethic and knowing what you want and setting those goals so that you can work towards them and achieve them kind of have to be consistent and to know what you're getting into and i think if you know what you're getting into you can set yourself up appropriately and to know what you're getting into the best way is really just to submerge yourself in that field mm -hmm. so if you think you might be interested in medicine just finding a physician or a trainee who you can tag along with spend time with and really confirm that dream for yourself and then get advice from um, those people around you to achieve those goals because having somebody guide you will make that process much easier. Excellent. Uh, that's some really good advice. Well, if students out there wanted to get in touch with you or someone maybe interested in going down the IR path, how, how can they do that? So I'm a reachable and on Twitter as Ifeishi underscore UK, that's U-K-E-H. And um, I am readily available and willing and I hope people reach out to me. I like to mentor and I can be a good resource. Excellent. I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of people that are, you know, reaching out to you because I've had a ton of requests for this particular specialty and I'm glad I was able to uh, us for it finally link up. Um, yeah. I just want to say congrats to you. I don't know any black female interventional radiologist. You're the only person I know. So and that's the reason why I kind of do this channel to show people that, Hey, you know, it, these specialties are actually possible and they're, you know, people in positions that look just like us. So um, I, I commend you on that. I think it's important to, um, the diversity in medicine is important on all fields. There are not a lot of African-American uh, females in interventional radiology. Yeah. And a lot of that is also about seeing people who look like you in the field yeah. and knowing that it's possible. So this is a great platform for everybody to see. And thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations. And uh, thank you for uh, joining me today. Thank you, Dr. Webb. Welcome. And everyone else, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.